In this video we're going to look at finding missing angles in right angle triangles using trigonometry. If you've not watched the video Introduction to Trigonometry, you might want to start there first. OK, just a couple of reminders. Basic trigonometry is all to do with right angle triangles. So I've got my right angle triangle there and you can see I've used the Greek letter theta, which is that circle with a line through it, to show an unknown angle. Remember, we've also got a special way of labelling the sides. So we've got a right angle here, the longest side, which is always opposite the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. This is the angle that I'm interested in, so the one that's opposite that is the one that I label as opposite, and the side that I've got left over I label as the adjacent. We've also got our three trig ratios which link up the angle, so you can see here we've got theta, and two sides, so this links the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we've got a relationship between the angle and two sides in each case. You might hear or see the word Sokotoa being used. That's just a way of helping you to remember which ratio, so sine, cos or tan, links with which pair of sides. So we can see here in the so bit, we've got sine opposite and hypotenuse. Similarly, in my ka bit there, I've got cos adjacent and hypotenuse. And then in my toa bit on the end, I've got tan opposite and adjacent. So all that is, is reminding you which one you're using. It's a useful thing to memorise because sometimes you don't get given the formulas in an exam. Right, let's have a look at our first example. So I've got a right angle triangle there. I've got two sides, I've got 8 and 4, and I need to find the value of theta, a missing angle. So the very first thing I'm going to do is label my sides. So opposite the right angle, the longest side, is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle I'm interested in, it's the opposite, and the one that I've got left over is the adjacent. Always label your sides before you start a problem. Okay, if I look in this question, I've got information about the hypotenuse and the opposite, and I'm trying to find this angle. The adjacent's not important. I haven't got any information about it, and I'm not trying to work it out. So it might be useful just to cross it out so you don't get confused in the problem. So now we go back and we think about Sokotoa. So that will tell us which one are we going to use. So let's pop back to our previous slide. Now in my problem, I've got opposite and hypotenuse, so I'm going to be using sine. So I'm going to write that down. So sine theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. What I need to do then is substitute in the information I know. So I know that the opposite is 4, and I know that the hypotenuse is 8. So all I've got to do is replace O and H with 4 and 8. So that gives me sine theta is 4 divided by 8. So we now know what sine of the angle is, so we know sort of the special link, but we need to be able to work out what the angle itself is. Now luckily that's programmed into your calculator. So if you put 4 divided by 8 in your calculator and then reverse this sine process, your calculator can tell you what the angle is. So just above the sign button on your calculator, you should see sine minus 1. It's usually in yellow or orange, and you'll probably have to press the shift button on your calculator to get it up on the screen. So you'll need to get that sine minus 1, or inverse sine, up, and you'll need to do sine minus 1 of 4 divided by 8. So that's saying to your calculator, OK, I know what the sine of the angle is, I want to know what the angle actually is, so we've got to reverse that sine process. So once you've pressed that in, so you press sine minus 1, 4 divided by 8, and your calculator should tell you that the angle is 30 degrees. And that's the problem done. Right, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so again, right angle, triangle, angle we don't know, we know two sides. So we're going to start by labelling them. The one opposite the right angle, that's my hypotenuse. 
the one opposite theta, that's the opposite, and the one left over, that's the adjacent. Remember to label your sides every single time. So in this question now, I know the hypotenuse, I know the adjacent, and I'm trying to find this angle. I'm not interested in the opposite side at all. So I then go back and think about my SOC, CA, TOA. If I've got adjacent and hypotenuse, then I must be using cos. So I write that down. I then pop in the information I know. So I know that the hypotenuse is 8 and the adjacent is 3. So where I've got A, I write 3. Where I've got H, I write 8. So cos theta is 3 over 8. So we now know the link between the angle and adjacent and hypotenuse. All we need to do now is work out, well, what is that angle? So we ask our calculator to reverse the cos function. So we're going to use, again, cos minus 1. Should be above your cos button in yellow or orange. So you're going to press cos minus 1, 3 over 8. That should give you probably a horrible decimal, so a decimal that goes on across your page forever. Well, it's no good writing the whole of that down, so we need to try and round that. Uh, now, if we look at the top here, it says to two decimal places. So that means I will need two numbers after decimal point. So I'll need to sort of chop off that bottom bit of the number, so that will round up to 67.98. Let's just try one more. Well, you can guess if we've done sine and cos, we're probably going to do tan. So here's another one then. We've got two sides, 5 and 7, and we've got an angle. So to start off, we label your sides. There's the hypotenuse. There's the opposite, opposite the angle theta. And there's our adjacent. So we've got information about opposite and adjacent. So I'm not interested in the hypotenuse. So I think to myself, O and A, so ka toa, I'll be using tan. So I'll write that down. Pop in the information we know. So the opposite is 5, so that will go instead of O. The adjacent is 7, that will go instead of A. So it's 5 over 7. And again, get our calculator to undo that tan process. So I'm going to be using the tan minus 1 button this time. So theta is tan minus 1, 5 over 7. Comes out with 35.537 and some other numbers afterwards. You round to two decimal places, so that will round to 35.54 degrees. So that's basic trigonometry finding a missing angle. You might want to also have a look at the video finding a missing side.